How you guys doing today? Today I want to talk about uh, doing God's work. When you out here doing God's work, um, working for God, it's stuff, obstacles that get in the way um, of you just fulfilling the full purpose. That don't mean it gets stopped. That don't mean it gets it gets postponed. When you speak things into existence, the devil hates that. And another thing about Christianity and God and narcissism had all ties together. God really dislikes narcissists. Let me explain, because God just he really you try to manipulate God, bad things happen. Um I'd, I'd always try to keep pure intent, even if my heart isn't fully um, motivated, pure, as you call it, towards something. I always try to keep pure intent. What I mean by that is I never go into nothing like trying to intentionally hurt anybody. Uh, I try to let God do his work through me. But it's all like we live in a real world where obstacles arise at any moment, any given time. Um, it's never a time where an obstacle won't arise. So you just have to be vigilant of these things. Because, you know, the nurses, they prey on a bad time. Just to put it front, they prey on a bad time. If you're having a bad time in life, they preyed on it. Whether you know it or not. You just have to stay vigilant. And focus. You only can do. So much. Especially with God's chosen people. God's chosen people will always come out on top. It's sad to say. That we live in an era where. You can't. Fully communicate. What you're doing. Everything you're doing. You shouldn't do that either way. But. You can't even halfway communicate with a lot of people because they operate on this low frequency of narcissism. And that's that's just a, a sick, you know, way they live. It's a shame that people have to deal with this type of stuff. But even in biblical days, they had to deal with that type of stuff. And I will say it only makes God's people more vigilant, more sharp more focused so with that being said guys stay focused on uh the vision and thank you for watching